Trial Bay Jail, abandoned so quickly after it was built, sits on the edge of the water in picturesque Aracoon, New South Wales. The jail seemed cursed. It took 13 years to build it and closed 26 years later. The ruins now stand as a testament to those who lived and died there. Hi everyone, we are at Trial Bay Jail uh, in Aracoon, which Southwest is Rocks. Southwest Rocks. Um, it is about three and a half hours from Newcastle North. And uh, we have never been here before, so this is a really interesting opportunity to uh, explore a site that we have never been to. Yeah, and we were invited by Crossroads Paranormal, and I mean, how cool is that? Just to reach out to another team and say, hey guys, come on over and investigate with us. So yeah. here we are, um, they've hired the jail for the night, and we're here with their guests, and we're excited. We're so excited. It's a huge area. Um, there's not a lot left here. It's kind of really the skeleton of what the old site was. Um, that's neither here nor there to getting impressions or to getting evidence. You were getting the PB jeebies on the way around though, weren't oh, you? Oh, the moment I walked in, yeah. it was like, hello, who are you? What are you doing here? What do you want? Check out this old woman. So we're feeling that it might be definitely intelligent, what's left here? Or? Um, Intelligent curiosity or is it yeah, residual? Yeah, intelligent curiosity, otherwise, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't feel that presence literally coming up and standing and going, who are you? Mm. Um, there is quite a bit of contamination around, we can hear like banging and things, um, there, it's quite windy, but the coolest piece of contamination is the kangaroos. There is also um, the audio in some of the cells. Yes, we do have to be aware of that. And yeah, we have we to have be aware. Jail. Yeah, we have to be aware that that can be heard quite a distance when we're recording. So uh, I actually asked them not to tell us about the hauntings. I would rather we have our own experience and then we tell them what's happened and we see how it compares to what's happened to them. Mm. So how does it feel to actually be? investigating and not leading people on investigations. Awesome. So, yeah. awesome. so awesome. So awesome to just be investigating. We don't have to entertain anyone or explain anything and um, just to sit in the quiet in these cells. I'm so excited to do that and see if anything happens. Touch me! Touch me! <laughs> so the jail itself has got a, a limited history. It opened in 1886 and really <coughs> closed in 1903 and then reopened. That's not very long. Yeah, reopened for... Um, Considering it took 13 years to build it, yeah. they didn't use it for very long at all. Reopened uh, in World War One to um, hold German families who would have been thought as possibly doing work for um, the Nazis mm. here in Australia. Yep. And so they corralled them all into one spot and uh, kept them literally as prisoners, but not. Um, they gave them a lot of better circumstances, I guess, to live in. And, um, but then they closed it again, and it just stood as a ruin for many, many years until um, the national parks took it over. Yeah. I actually think there's quite a bit of it left, considering what we've seen at Norfolk Island, where there's not much yeah. left at all. Yeah. There, um, there's the, the whole cells are here. The whole silent cell block is still down there. Yeah. I mean, the laundry's all been removed, but there's still the skeleton of it there. Mm -hmm. Uh, this wing behind us here is, uh, doesn't have a roof anymore, but the cells are all there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the stuff that's behind us is actually what was left over from when they were making the break wall. So the, the prisoners that were here were here to work. Labour. And they were making the break wall to create a safe harbour. Um, but it took so long and it was so difficult they actually abandoned the project. They never finished it. Anyway, I think they're ready for us, so yes. we should head off and start investigating. Let's go. Okay. So, so did the uh, original convicts build this? Build no, this? it was built, built by um, yeah. a 
builder who had the contract from yeah. the government. Yeah. His name was Macquarie, and he had a team of 33 stonemasons from America who came to do the stonework because it's all granite and the stonemasons of New South Wales had been very used to um, sandstone, sandstone. Yeah. and just apparently weren't. Yeah. This would be a lot harder yeah, to they weren't up for the job, work yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. So 33 stonemasons from America and a team of locals and they built it um, and it went extremely over budget and over time because the planning was not to use some of the hardest stone on the planet to build it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So where'd they get the, um, the, the granite, granite from? So there's, we have three hills here. We have Monument Hill, which has um, a monument and some graves on it. Little Smoky and Big Smoky. So Monument Hill and Little Smoky are the only outcrops of granite along the coast between Sydney and Brisbane, and they just happen to be here. Right. Yep. Ha! Okay. So, That's quite And you can't build a a prison out of timber and this was pretty much a timber town yeah and um you know prison timber on fire yeah yeah, yeah. easy to escape yeah yeah that's right and this was a prison of reform so um if you did something wrong here this was your punishment and you were sent away so the prisoners who came to this jail not the germans but the prisoners who were here as public works prisoners to build the breakwater they tried to escape or if they were like this prisoner here and stabbed a guard in the stomach um, they were sent to the silent cells until the next boat could take them to Darlinghurst jail so these cells here the last two are open the third one the one in the middle you can lock yourself in there's a solid door and I gather that's what you were sort of thinking <laughs> um, the first one has the stories of the escapes and some of the pictures of the old punishment have a look and the second one is actually sealed um, and there's a plastic mannequin in there that we can't get access to. Oh bugger, <laughs> just need to spook people. Yeah, like it. <laughs> yeah. but uh, you can't see it at night time unfortunately. Aww. I know, you might be able to try hard. That's what night vision is for. Yeah. <laughs>